feature our drummer Jerome Lelouch from Hamburg. <laughs> Hi. Say hello. Hi yeah. folks, how's it going? Yeah, Jerome and I played together since like 20 years, but uh, now we finally made it to this project and uh, we're going to start with the drums and bass together uh, on Monday, right? Right, Monday, Monday 9 o'clock. Right. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And what we're doing now is we Again, we got some questions from the guys out there, and he's going to ask me the questions in the comments. Okay, the first question is from Henning. Why did you switch from Yamaha Pacifica to Yamaha SG guitars? All right. Yeah, well, I had to switch the guitars because I tried out new amplifiers like this one, and the, the single coils in the Pacifica guitars were a little too high ending my taste. And I thought I need something special and more individual, like the P90 pickups, for instance. And uh, I, re I, re I really like the sound and the feel of the guitar in general. So I thought to myself, maybe it's a good decision to try, like a back of back to the roots thing, try the uh, old Gibson scale guitars again. And yeah, it felt really good. And that's, that's the reason. Nothing major, though. Cool. Hmm. The next question is from Luca. The question is, why did it take so long to make a new album with the Dennis Thomas Blues Band? Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, we have to say it's not the Blues Band anymore. Uh, it's the Dennis Thomas Band that features Jerome on the drums and Robert, who can't be here, unfortunately, on the bass. And it's a whole new idea about mm, the music. And um, I, I felt good with the Dennis Thomas Blues Band. But um, I thought I have to try something new. That's the reason why. And the reason why it took so long uh, <laughs> is the fact that we all had different bands that were played in. For instance, uh, like the Tom Back Band or Mark Terenzi, we did together right. tours. Uh, musical, we did the Rocky Horror Tour, which is starting this year, this year again. And uh, yeah, that's the reason. We all had jobs to do. so. But now we're heading really forward to this project. The next question is about your education. That's right. another question from Luca. Are you a self-taught guitar player? Mm -hmm. It's a, pretty much about your unique style of playing, right. how you created that style. Well, yeah, I'm self-taught uh, because I, I never had a guitar teacher or not more than one or two lessons. Yeah, I had to, to listen to music on the CDs and the, the, the cassettes and stuff, and I had really had to find out what's on there. And didn't have really a, like like a clue what's going on uh, on the fretboard. I have no idea, so I created my own versions of scales, whatever it was. And yeah, but what I do now is, of course, I I found out some sweet spots on the guitar and the thing with the rings on my my fingers here. Yeah, it's, it's, it happened like in a fun situation, like this situation now. <laughs> Finished? Finished, yeah. Oh, now you're going to finish the roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was it for this week, and I uh, hope you liked his answers, and uh, see you on the next episode. See ya. Out there in the world, and the first question is: 